What's up, my doomed friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Last Day on Earth Survival! KJ48 always survives! Alright, guys, today... Well, let's talk about what we did last video first. Um, last video we did Alpha Bunker. We opened three chests. It That last red chest, yeah, that, re that last red coupon, guys, came down to the freaking wire. That was so... Just so much fun. I really loved it. It kind of stinks. Next time I do the next time I do the bunker run, I'm not gonna get enough red coupons, but you know, it's fine. I really wanted it then. It was awesome. You guys should definitely go back and check out that video. Today we are going to finish the gun bench and we are also gonna go check out some of our neighbors. Uh, I've been hearing rumors that the NPC neighbors bases have been reset. Okay, how does that sound? Sounds good. If you haven't been enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you are new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So let's go ahead and finish the gun bench here. This is the first thing I'm going to be finishing in quite a long time. Oh, and P.S. by the way, I, I, I'm almost out of duct tape completely. Uh, <laughs> I got to start farming for some duct tape. Serious. Like, forget everything else, just farm for duct tape. All right, so there we go. It is now finished, complete. Let's take a look at the recipes. All right, there you go. All the guns break down into weapon parts. So I guess that probably takes a while. So let's come on over here to our weapon chest. Actually, um, you know what? This thing's pretty full. And you can't break down modded weapons either. Um, none, of the, none of the weapons in there are modded, so it's not really a big deal. But I do have a chest over here, somewhere around here. Uh, there we go. All right. So I, I guess you can only do one weapon at a time, and it probably takes a while, I'm assuming. like Probably like an hour, right? Yep, wow, I called it. And you can't put another one on top of this. Be nice if you could stack up a couple of these, maybe. That would be pretty cool, but, you know, it is what it is. Gun bench is now complete. Yeah, yeah! Awesome. I would take a screenshot with the gun bench, but that is not going to be the awesome part of this video. The awesome part of this video is going to be us going to some NPC raiders. All right, so... Here's the problem I have with duct tape. <laughs> I know I keep harping on duct tape. I'm sorry. Guys, let me know in the comments what's the best way to get duct tape. As of right now, the best way to get duct tape that I'm aware of is to go to the yellow zone, avoid combat as much as possible, kill only what you need to, get the chest, get out, come to somewhere else, go back and repeat. Should I, once I'm done getting duct tape from the yellow zone, should I go to the green zone and get duct tape? Or should I just go to the green zone and then go right back to the yellow zone? Let me know in the comments, because you guys are a freaking pro at this game, and I really, really need a way to get duct tape. Oh, you're wondering what this exclamation point is? Yeah, it's the uh, motorcycle event that I'm, you know, they won't give me any parts for, but... <laughs> I just want to cry myself to sleep. All right, forget about that. All right, so we're definitely going to raid two buildings today. I don't know if we're going to raid three. I'm not really sure. Let's start with this one over here. Player, player 841, I'm sorry, buddy, but I'm coming to take your stuff. Uh, today is one day I might spend some coins to uh, get some stamina so I can get all the raiding in on one day. I'm not really sure. We're going to raid two bases, and then we'll see where we stand. And I might spend some stamina. I might not. It depends on how long it takes. I don't think the raid setup has been changed on these bases. I don't think the bases are any different than they were last time I was here. But that is kind of irrelevant because, because to be perfectly honest with you, I don't remember what they looked like last time I was here. Also, I only have enough duct tape to make three axes that can break through tier two walls. So I can only break through two, uh, three tier two walls today. Uh, and then I, I just got to go farm, farm some duct tape. And like I said, guys, let me know in the comments what's the best way to do that. Uh, no, a lot of times I don't mind doing the uh, trial and error, you know, I'll go through and I'll farm and I'll see what works and I'll see what doesn't. But as of right now, I can duct tape in the worst way. And I am not going to break through any, any tier two wall until I see that I 100% need to. All right. So right here, we got a regular ax. I did bring a bunch of stone and wood. So we're going to go ahead and just break through this wall right here. And, uh, well, yeah, we should walk out here with some decent loot. I uh, hope they have some duct tape. <laughs> All right, so what do we got in here? Okay, nothing great. I'm gonna just gonna leave that stuff in there. This will probably be the um, this will probably be the drop chest that I will uh, bring everything to. So let's go ahead and make another hatchet. I'm pretty sure we're only gonna get through two of these today. This might be a short video as well, so we'll see how things go. All right, I'm gonna break through here and nothing. Okay, so this was a wasted this was a wasted room. Can you destroy spikes yet? I don't think you can. All right, so if that's a wasted room. Would it have made more sense to come up this way? No, I don't see any other way in this room. I think you'd have to break through um, two walls no matter what. Yeah, yeah. No, this is this is still the only way you, you go. Okay, well, we're going to need uh, another axe. And let's break through this way. Now, I think each one of these uh, bases only has one tier two wall to break through, which is nice. Uh, so if I have a chance, I might be able to do all three. We'll see. All right, what do we got in this chest? All right, nothing good. Nothing good. This is a bunch of... 
Yeah, give me some good stuff, bro. Come on, player 841. What have you been doing all freaking all the time you've been playing the game? Farm me up some good stuff to take. <laughs> Alright, so let's come on down here and break in here, or should we break in down here? Let's see what down here is. Uh, required iron hatchet. Uh, required iron hatchet. Required iron hatchet. Okay, so we're going to break in up here first and see where this goes. Okay. Break it down to walls. Come on, man. Break down the wall, bro. I don't have all day. Okay. So nothing in here. So this wall is completely pointless to break into. Let's see. How That's dynamite. And that is an iron hatchet. Okay, so I just wasted a hatchet. Okay. No way I could have known that. Um, unless I went back and watched my last video, but I don't know. I kind of feel like there's less chest in here than last time. I kind of feel like, um, I kind of feel like they did switch things up in here a little bit. So there's no way I could have known that. Now, where do I break through? I, I, there's no way for me to know. There's no way for me to know. I guess I'll just break through right here. Please don't, please be a good place to break through. I really don't want to waste iron hatchets. Yep. Well, we would have to break through here anyway, so this is going to take two iron hatchets, no matter what. All right, so that's that. Uh, actually, you know what? We should probably... Yeah, we got to put some stuff in here. I'll bring this down here. I don't think any of this stuff's going to stack. The torch is kind of a piece of crap, but eh, I'll hold on to it. All right, so let's put this stuff up here. So far, this stuff is not blowing my hair back, but we'll see. We shall see what we get after this. Okay, so is there any way to break in here? Yes, I can break in right there. Okay. Or I could break in right here. I don't think it really matters, but... All right, we're going to use another iron hatchet. We're only doing two bases today. There, I don't have enough iron hatchets for three bases. I might not even have enough iron hatchets for the um, for the two bases I have to go through. Because, because, because I'm at almost at a duct tape. Oh, you got to be kidding me. That was a bad spot. Okay, so this is the only place I'm going to be able to break in. Oh, no, you're killing me. Game. Game. So I should have broken up here. Is there any way around that chest? I don't I don't think so. I don't think there's any way around the chest. All right. Well, I used all my iron hatchets here. All right. Well, only one place. Uh, we'll, we'll break into the other place, though. We'll break it. No. And now I'm not going to be able to break it, break in on this wall because it was. This isn't going to break now. My hatchet's going to break before the wall. Because it made me hit this wall. Because I, w I went too fast. You got to make sure the wall you want to hit is the one highlighted. Oh, man. All right. Well, we can look in here. There's some interesting stuff. Uh, can I uh, can I reach that one? I can't reach that one. No. All right. Now, it is what it is. Let's drop this stuff in here. Okay. And we do have what we need for the regular hatchet. So we're going to go ahead and make the regular hatchet. I'm officially 100% out of duct tape. That means no more bunker runs until I can get some duct tape. I got to just farm, farm, farm me up some duct tape. Okay. Let's come through here. There we go. Oh, there we go. We got some duct tape. That gives me just enough for another hatchet. Cool. All right. Oh, let me take the, let me take the transmission. <laughs> They'll never let you do that, obviously, but it would be pretty funny if you could. All right, what do we got in here? Charcoal. Ooh, not bad. Now we're starting to get some good stuff. Now, guys, if I miss any chests, let me know in the comments. I would be very, uh, very thankful if you could let me know if I miss anything. All right, so let's go ahead and make our last hatchet. Break into the rest of this base. And uh, this is the only base we're going to be able to break into with the, uh, with the hatchet, but that's okay. At least... Um, at least we got to break into it. Now, let's make sure this is... Okay. There we go. Okay. And now we've got a pointless hatchet. Okay. Nothing in there I care about. That's on the other side of the wall. Oh, more duct tape. Uh, let's do this. Just in case we get another thing of duct tape. Oh, cool. All right. So, at least these have some good duct tape in them. That's good. That's going to allow me to break into uh, one more place. All right, guys. we got everything stored in here. Let's head on out to the next base. Um, we got, like, a lot of stuff in here. A lot of stuff. I actually had a lot of duct tape in there at the end. I was really happy about that. That made me very, uh, that made me very happy. Not too much good stuff in there, except for the duct tape. We got a pistol out of it, so that was pretty good. Um, so let's hit magic space next. And this is going to be the last one we can hit for today. Probably be a little bit of a short video, but, um, you know, what are you gonna do, man? The stamina. The stamina is king. I mean, I'm, I could probably use my, uh, coins to buy some more stamina to finish up, uh... 
to to finish up Tizel's base, but I think we're gonna I think we're gonna stay away from that one today. We'll we'll do that one uh, probably next video. Save a little bit of uh save a little bit of the NPC rating for next video for you guys. Give you something to look forward to. Maybe we'll do um maybe we'll do a little bit of a yellow zone today. Let's see. All right, let's see what this guy's got. All right, this is the one with the he has a base over here too, right? Yeah. Oh, so did this one not refresh? Oh, so I why would one of them refresh but not the others? That's kind of weird, isn't it? Oh, that's really... That's weird. I'm not really sure. Maybe... Maybe this one will refresh tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe maybe the one that... Maybe the one we were just at refreshed really quickly? I, I don't know. I'm not really sure why this one didn't refresh yet. Oh, boy. Well, I guess we'll go check the third base just because I don't know. I don't know. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, spend some coins here. This is what the coins are good for. Let's go ahead and run. There we go. We'll get to Tizel's base. I'm pretty sure Tizel's base was the last one we did, I think, last time. So I'm pretty sure that this base is not going to be respawned either. But I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if, like, the bases started respawning. Maybe they respawned based on when I did them. So I did this one first last time. But then I did Magic second. I don't even know if that's the order. I don't, I don't know. I honestly don't know what's going on right now. You guys let me know. What, what's your... What's going on in your game? Because uh, this is a little bit weird to me that that some bases, some bases uh, refreshed and others didn't. Yep, this one's not refreshed either. Yeah, that's so weird. That is so weird. All right, well, I don't really know uh, why this was like this. You guys let me know what's going on in your game. Uh, let me go home, get some stuff, and I think we're going to go uh, look for some duct tape in the yellow zone. All right, guys, you know what? I thought during a video... Uh, farming the yellow zone might be a little bit on the tame side. So I said, you know what? Screw it. We're going to go to the red zone. I was hesitant to go to the red zone because my gear isn't the greatest. Although I do have a bat. A bat is definitely good enough to farm the red zone, but nothing else I have is good enough. And I don't have any backup healing or any clothes or anything. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to sneak around in here and be kind of sneaky like, uh, try and avoid the big one and, um, you know, see what we can do. If I kill a player, that doesn't have a ridiculously strong weapon, then that would be cool, you know? Um, as long as he doesn't have a gun, the skull crusher, or the saw blade, I will definitely kill a player that I come across to try to get some better items. But mostly I'm just going to be looking for chests here. And I got to watch out for those spitters because they should have come at me by now. I'm kind of surprised no spitter in here yet. It's pretty interesting. Um, where is he? Come on, man. I know you're around. Great, I'm hungry. That's okay. I'm going to be taking some damage here pretty soon. All right, so where is the spitter? That's what I'm wondering. All right, so we're, what we're looking for here is... Oh, there we go. So what we're looking for here is chests, berries, uh, duct tape, stuff like that. All right, got a couple spitters. Hold on, he's going to spit, right? You're going to spit, right? No? There he goes, once he takes damage. God, got hit both times. And a third, and I'm already smelly, probably. Oh, come not doing too well here. Okay, well, I killed them both. I'm not smelling yet. I did take a shower right before I came here, so that's pretty cool. That looks like a big guy. It's probably an abomination or... Yep, an abomination. Okay, here we go. I don't know if I don't know if the if this if the backup trip helps too much with the with the uh, baseball bat, as the uh, dirt as the delay of the weapon gets uh, faster, this helps less and less. But the thing is, it's gonna help me take less damage. And I think with one delay, this the, the step back trick is still worth it. If I had really good items, I might not bother. But we're we're at bare minimum here. We gotta. Oh nope, that's too good. I'm not I'm not fighting a saw blade. I probably should have fought him. But he would have taken a lot of, uh, he would have did a lot of damage to me, especially considering the, uh, the armor I have is not great. So, we gotta be smart. We gotta play this smart. Getting hit by all those spitters was about the most, least smart thing I could have done. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Alright, so what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna go ahead and eat these. That's good. Alright, we got as much food as we can, oh, here we go, what is this? What is that? Oh, that's a, it's another abomination, damn. I am not ready for these abominations, guys. Come on, jump, you fat bastard. Jump, there you go. Okay. Helps me take a little less damage, get some shots in. It's pretty good. I like it when they jump. It's even better when you have other zombies in the area and, they, and the other zombies take damage. It's freaking awesome. All right, so let's get this guy down. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. He's going to drop some stuff. Um, You know what? You know what I could do here? I don't want to waste too much time messing around here, but I can make some bandages. So that could come in pretty handy. 
Still gonna use the food for now. Again, if you could just uh, wave the storm, the, you know, uh, the amount of zombies that come at you will calm down a little bit. So, you gotta be careful. You gotta, just gotta watch out for the big one. There we go. Alright, now as long as nobody runs at us here, hopefully we get some duct tape. That would be wonderful. No, no duct tape. Get a yellow coupon. Yellow coupons aren't really worth that much, to be perfectly honest. But, that's okay. Uh, I'd really like to get that deer. You know what? I think I gotta get the deer for some leather. Oh, no. Hold on. What's that? Now we got two guys on us. I might just run this off. Yeah, those are two big guys. I'm gonna run this off. All right, coming back in. Now, I don't know if those guys are gonna come right at, I mean, come right after me because I didn't hit them. I think they're gonna come right after me, though. I think they're gonna know I'm here anyway. Um, so we'll see. I did clear up my inventory a little bit while I was uh, off of the uh, world. And we're just gonna kind of look around over here, see what we can see. And I don't know. Maybe they won't come after me. I don't know. We have to get a better weapon before this bat breaks or we're in trouble. So I'm hoping they'll send a player after me, but not like a really tough player. Like something... A player with like a, a normal like weapon. Not, not like a saw blade or anything. Okay, so there they are. Kill the spitter. Okay, kill the wolf. You kill the wolf. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thanks for the help. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Okay, we have to be we have to be uh, aware of our healing too. But I'll tell you right now, this bat is going to be the problem. This bat is going to be the problem. It's gonna it's gonna be the uh, end of my red zone run if I don't get something better. Okay, there we go. Let's grab this, and we'll grab this. And we'll come over here and eat these. Eat all four of them. That's fine. Okay. Alright, let's see what else we got. We should probably go... Oh, hold on. What's this? Is a player? Please be a player. Nope. Oh, I ran right into the spit. I think we're pretty much done here soon anyway. Oh, another player with a saw blade. Damn it. That's, t that's too bad. That's too bad all the players I've fought have had saw blades. You know, if a player comes out with a saw blade again, I might just try and fight through it. Cause this is getting out. Uh, this is getting bad. Like my bat's almost done, and once my bat is done, I am done. Yep, there's the spitter. He's not gonna spit again. Okay, knocked him out. Starting to smell a little bit. That's not good. Really not good. Nope. Same. Oh my god, the toxic abomination. I got two of them. I'm, I'm just gonna. Now they should be coming at me. I'm not gonna go up there. I'm gonna come down this way. They should be coming at me because once I once they get my scent, even if I come back, they still you know they don't leave you alone. So, yeah, our our gear wasn't terrible. It just you know probably need like two good melee weapons because you know like like I said, if a player comes in and you can defeat the player, no problem. You're gonna get, you're probably gonna get get a good melee weapon off them. You know what I mean? But if the, but if if you don't get a player, or if the player only has weapons that can defeat you. I'm just about done here. I'm gonna use the uh, I'm gonna use the cleaver for a bit. See if I can avoid anything I can, and um, I don't have to avoid the spit anymore. That's for sure. What do we got here? All right. Well, I might as well. It's still damage. Okay. You're dead, and you're dead. Okay. Okay. So let's see. That might be it for the spitters. We'll have to see about that. But I'm gonna have to stay really far away from any zombies now. Oh, got something coming out. Something big. Uh, two things. Is that a player? Nope. Spitter. Yeah, we're just gonna stand here and take it. Actually, no, we're not because if he had jumps, I can always run away. Like that. But we'll stand here and oh, do, do this thing while we kill him. Oh. <laughs> I keep jumping out of there. It's freaking free damage for me. I just run out of, I run out of the uh, path of the damage. Doesn't hurt me any. You know, this, uh, this cleaver isn't as bad as I thought. I thought it was a piece of crap, you know, but I don't know. Maybe it's not that bad after all. Okay. Uh, we're probably gonna have to kill these guys. I don't think... Oh, my God. I don't think we're gonna really get that close. I think I'm gonna... I don't, because I stink so bad, I think my, uh, my sneaking around days are over. So let's go ahead and... This and this. Then we'll put them in here. We'll try and get a weapon to keep this run going, but I'm done sneaking around. Oh, a floater bloater. Look at that. I didn't think there was floater bloaters in this zone anymore. Alright. Weapon's broke. Down to, we're down to the end now. My, my gear's about to break. Uh, is that the chest I already got? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm done here. Is that... No, I gotta be able to get another chest. Let me, let me try. Let me see if I can get around and get another chest. Because I've only seen, like, one chest. I've seen a lot of the zone. Yeah, I mean, I've been around a good a, a good a part of the zone, and I've only seen one chest. Usually, there's like there's chests everywhere in this zone. Let's see what we can do here. 
Okay. We're going to walk out here with a little something. A little something, something. So, at least we didn't get nothing, but... Not not all I wanted. Yeah, you got to... I, I would say one good weapon and one good backup weapon and then one good set of clothes. If you don't have a good set of clothes, you got to bring a backup set. Problem is, like, like I said, every time I come in here, I usually get jumped by a player. And I usually have more clothes and, and weapons than I can carry. But it's just not working this time. Yeah, you guys can spit all you want. I'm afraid of you. Boy, you guys aren't really sinking into the bottom of the barrel now. I'm gonna have to fight with a with a spear. I'm gonna fight with a spear. If I can get a few more of these plant fibers, I can make some uh, some dad pants. So let's see if we can get one more. All right. So we got a fast biter on us. That's okay. We'll take care of him with this, and then we will switch to this. There we go. Okay. And did we get the third one? Uh, yeah, we did. Okay, let's make... Oh, God, now we need the shirt, too. Uh, let's make the pants first. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Red zone with a spear and no shirt. This is just... Yeah. I'm going to run through and see if there's another... I, I think there's only one chest in here, guys. I'm pretty sure there's only one chest in here. Unless I'm just missing big parts of this map, but I don't think I am. Oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, wow. There's a car in there, too. Cool. Okay. Fair enough. All right, guys. Um, I was this close, and I'm holding my, my fingers about an inch apart, this close to, to deleting this episode. Um, I started the episode with coming to this base, and this base was a good raid. You know, we got some stuff from there. But the other two bases had nothing. And then I went to the red zone and, you know, almost came out of it pretty much with nothing. Uh, you know, but I, then, I feel, then I thought, if I'm going to show the triumphs of when I game, I need to show you guys the failures. This this episode did not get me the stuff I wanted to. But, you know, maybe you can learn something out of the failures. Let me know if you thought this episode was great. Let me know if you thought it sucked. Let me know if you thought it was somewhere in between. Uh, let me know what you want to see in the future. Do you want to see more bunker runs? Do you want to see more red zone runs? Um, just let me know what you want to see. Because right now, until there's an update, I'm kind of locked in you know there's three things i can show you i could show you red zone runs i could show you bunker runs or i could show you base building so let me know out of those three things what are you guys most interested in seeing and i'm gonna do some thinking and see where, where i want to go i mean i love personally between me me and you i love doing the bunker runs i think they're fun as anything um and the red zone runs are pretty fun too and you know the base runs the the base building is pretty fun but for me the bunker runs are the best Okay, so let me know what you want to see in the comments and let me know what you thought about this video because I was really, I was really, you know, on the fence about whether I wanted to uh, put it up on YouTube or not, but I'm kind of curious. I'll use it as a test case. I mean, if everyone says, okay, this video sucked, man, you got nothing done. This is a waste of time. Then I know next time if this happens, just delete the video because I don't want to put up crap for you guys, you know, but I also think it's important that when I do fail, you see it, you know, because a lot of YouTubers out there, they only show their, they only show their uh, their successes and you kind of get the feeling that they never fail and then when they don't show their failures you kind of get the feeling of that they kind of have egos and i don't think that's the case for most youtubers i think it's just that um we want to show you good entertainment and i think sometimes failures come off as bad entertainment but i think there's still value in them um to teach people what we did wrong what we did right you know and you know you want to see you want to see your youtubers fail sometimes i think that's important um you know so anyway i've been rambling on enough <laughs> let me know in the comments how you feel about it guys i mean that's gonna be it for this video thank you very much for watching i will see you next time and until then take it easy